Let's continue our introduction to Copernicus by looking at how we can do some texture mass painting and use cops to generate some brushes for our painting. So as always, this project file will be available on Patreon. Let's go ahead and drop down a cop net and dive inside here. And then let's actually come back up here and create a SOP create as well. We'll dive inside the SOP create and we need some geometry to work on. So I'm just gonna drop down the rubber toy for now. And we don't need the shader. I'm also gonna just disable wireframe. And to do any sort of painting on our model here, we can do this inside of SOPs, which we can then can do can bring into cops. So the way that we're gonna do that is with a texture mass paint node. And this is not new to Houdini 20.5, but we're gonna go over how we can use this inside of cops. So just to start off here, we've got some different things that we can do with this. There's a whole bunch of different things um, that we can play around with in order to get the desired you know, brush type and everything that we're looking for. We can explain or explicitly state our resolution that we want to work on and the way that this texture mass paint actually works is it's painting onto a height field and that's important because that's how we're going to bring that into our cop net as well so let's just paint something on here we can do that by pressing enter in our viewport here and we can just paint something onto our model here you can see that it updates accordingly so now that we have something let's just wire a null here so we have two outputs we have our mask volume and then we have our geometry so we want to actually wire in our mask volume into our null and we'll call this out like mask or something so we can take that and we can dive up to our cop net here and let's actually come back in here let's make another one of these and we'll wire in our geo and we'll just call this out geo so now we have our geo that we can easily identify for our cop net. So let's do a SOP import. We'll use an external SOP and we'll just go up and we'll select that geo out null that we created. And we can drop down a preview material and wire this into our geo. And you can see that we have our geo being displayed. Now we can bring another SOP import in we can ex, uh, use our external SOP once again, and let's bring in our mask this time. And like I said, this is a height field, so we need to rasterize this layer. So we'll do rasterize geometry, or sorry, not rasterize geometry, but rasterize setup. We'll wire that into our source, and we wanna make sure that this is set to UVs. And then from here, we want to just drop down a geometry to layer node. And this is how you bring in the height fields into COPS. So now if we look at that, you can see we have where we have painted on that mask. So we can take this and we'll do maybe like a, or let's do like a, one of those tile patterns we took a look in the last video. Let's look at this. Let's create something a little more interesting of a pattern, maybe something like this should work. Or actually, let's not do that. Let's do a, let's just use a noise. We'll do a fractal noise 3D. And we're not gonna worry about the tiling, but if you wanna learn how to get rid of the tiling, I have a video that goes over how to do that inside of COPS as well. Now we'll take a, let's do a multiply and we'll wire in our noise into the foreground and our height field or our mass that we painted into the background. And we can just wire that into the base color just to see what we get. And now you can see that we have that noise being applied only where that mask is. So that's all fine, but what if we wanted to have a, a brush that isn't something that's available in here? So in our te texture mask paint, we have a selection of brushes that we can use. So we can use paint. Um, we have some different things that we can do here. Um, we can come in here and we can use a texture as our brush. We can we can load a custom brush file, which I haven't really messed with. I haven't messed with this mode, this node a whole lot um, as far as painting goes. So I'm not sure exactly how this works. I'll have to look into that. Um, but we can use a texture, we can stamp, we can 
use dirt. There's all sorts of different things that we can do to play with this. But we want to be able to create our own custom brushes. So let's come back into, actually we can do it in here. Let's do another cop net. Let's dive inside and then let's do our SDF shape. And we can just select something interesting for now. Maybe we'll do, we'll just show how it works. We'll use the infinity first. So we'll do SDF to mono. Wire this in. And then we're gonna use a, another null here. And we'll wire this into here. And we'll say out brush. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just select it and copy that node. And we can dive back up and come to our texture mask paint here. And if I come into our settings here, we have a couple different things. So you would think that, or at least my first thought would be to use this texture because if we take this, we can press enter here and let's just clear this. Right now it's set to this mandrel pick. So if I just stamp this on here, we're kind of painting, it's hard to see, but we paint a mandrel onto this. Um, this is a default picture that comes with Houdini. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. Let's clear that out. And I'm going to paste in that node that we had selected. And we see we get our file path here, but we need to put something in front of it. We need to do op, so op colon. And then this allows us to just reference that node. So now if we press enter, we can try to paint on here, but you see that we don't have what we would expect which is a little odd. And we can try and update our node, still same thing. We don't have that alpha image that we had created in our cop net. And I don't know if this is a bug with cops or not, um, but we can't use the actual texture. We have to come to this stamp input and use this instead. So we'll paste that in there and then we'll put our OP column in front of it. And now we can start to paint. And you can see that we now have our infinity symbol that's being applied onto this. Now, if we want to change that brush at any time, super easy, just dive inside and we can change this maybe to this chevron. Come back up, we reselect our texture mask paint. And if I start painting in, you see that it hasn't updated. The reason for that is we need to actually force an update for this alpha image. So if we just scroll our mouse wheel up or down, we can see that our radius has changed. And now if we paint on here, it's now updating to that chevron that we have created. So super easy. You can just create whatever brush that you want and then wire this in. Obviously you can get way more complex with this and create some really nice brushes. Um, you can load in images if you wanted to, obviously, um, or you could just generate a bunch of things inside of cops and then have them all be outputting to this same null and then just change to whichever one that you want whenever you want. And obviously you can change around the different settings with this as well. We don't have to have that spacing. We can you know, kind of paint with this if we wanted to. Um, obviously play around with the settings and, and get stuff set up the way that you want in order for it to, to work for your specific situation. So this is kind of how you can use cops to work something like a substance painter. Now it's not going to be perfect in, in my opinion. Uh, there's still a little bit of, of weirdness to it and obviously this is an ideal having to jump back and forth between everything in order to get the painting to work but it is a solution that works so it's something that uh, I think you should be aware of for, for right now and you can use this to like stamp things onto your geometry as well if you want to stamp like a, a rock texture or something or like a logo onto your your texture then you can do that as well through this same method if you wanted to create it through cops or mess around with it through cops so definitely something that i think you should know and you should get comfortable with for the time being at least hopefully they'll change this in the future and give us something that's a little bit more direct inside of cops but i guess we will see how that all plays out but anyways, hopefully this has helped you out. Like I said, this file is available on Patreon. If you want to grab it, you can do so on there and go over all the different things inside of that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.